Hey, welcome back. Dagano is the last Guardian Ray in the Punika region and is much more difficult than the previous Guardian Ray. Because of that, I figured that it would be helpful if I make a guy. Uh, usually, I don't do Guardian Ray guy because most of them are simple enough, but I figure for this one in particular, I'll do one. Anyway, let's get started. But just as a quick reminder, I do stream Lost Ark on Twitch, so don't forget to follow me over there as well. Let's begin by talking about its major mechanics which will happen over the fight which is the light stacks. Throughout the fight, the boss will spawn these light spots on the ground and you can get a buff by standing on top of them. These buffs can stack up to 5 times with the first 3 giving you massive damage increase and the last 2 giving you damage reduction. It is essential that you keep at least 3 stack on you all the time so that you can properly damage the boss. Do you know that the boss will only spawn 3 of these spots at once no matter how many players are in your party? Because of that, some people might opt to solo the boss instead so that they can get every single one of the light stacks. If you are partying with other players, make sure that you guys are splitting the stacks accordingly so that every player will have at least 3 stacks so that you can all do massive damage to the boss. Do be careful as getting hit by a dark element attack will remove one of your stacks that you have and also increase the amount of damage you take. So because of this, your main priority is to make sure that you do not get hit by any of the dark element attack so that you can properly maintain your life stacks throughout the entire fight. With that being said, let's talk about his major attack pattern. The first one is going to be the orb where he'll shoot 4 dark orb in 4 direction, finally followed by 6 light orb in front and behind him. A backflip followed by 3 slam, so make sure that you run away from him when you see the backflip. He has a counterable breath attack, but I heavily recommend you do not try to counter it because failing the counter will mean that you almost certainly get one shot by the follow-up attack. If he starts to disappear, he'll follow up with a very high speed charge. This charge can do a lot of damage, so be sure to be careful. Finally, if he jump into the sky, he'll land in a really really massive area, so make sure you save your space bar for this attack. He'll also follow up with 4 light attack, uh, so make sure you don't stand in the ordinal direction. If the boss start glowing in place and start this very long animation, then he's calling for a stagger check. This stagger check is quite heavy, so using warwind bomb is recommended, uh, otherwise it's just a pretty standard stagger check. With that being said, let's talk about these major mechanics that happen in the second phase. The boss is going to create a light zone in front of him with a light indicator on every single player head, and you guys should all run near the zone. One of your indicator is going to shortly turn black and that player need to immediately run into the zone so that the boss can bite you, which will incapacitate the boss and give you a lot of time to do free damage on top of the boss. When you arrive at phase 3, the boss is going to turn red which signals that he is enraged. At this point, he will stop spawning light spot completely. The only way to get light stack from now on is going to be through the pizza mechanics, although I'll recommend that you skip the first pizza and it's much harder than the rest. The boss will do a very long wind-up animation indicating that it is pizza time. Now carefully observe that the direction that the swirl is spinning as this will indicate the direction of the pizza. The pizza will always start at the back of the boss and then follow it with that direction, so you simply have to run through all the pizza. And each pizza will give you 1 stacks. Be careful as getting hit by the black spot of the pizza will most likely instantly kill you and it does a lot of damage. Additionally, every other pizza that he's gonna do is actually gonna be a fake. So in this case, you can see the animation going off but he actually didn't do the pizza because this is every other one. Overall, this boss will take you a good amount of practices, make sure you play patiently and focus on surviving as well as keeping your stack up first. Um, one of my friends actually was able to solo this boss in 8 minutes just at item level, uh, so I will include that in the link in the description below. Uh, be sure to check that out because I think that will open up a lot of people's eyes. But with that being said, have fun doing this boss as this boss is really really fun. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.